Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm as promised. I'm going to start making some videos on the secrets of Golden Era bodybuilders. And today I start off with Larry Scott's The Key to Huge Biceps. His major suggestion is forearm strength. That is the key. And I'll explain why. When performing the actual Scott curl, forearm strength really helps in, in this particular exercise. Uh, when, for example, doing the Scott curl, coming all the way down, you can see clearly here that Larry has gone all the way down to the bottom. And you can see in the first image, he's about to start bringing the barbell up. And as he does, you can see his face is, is grimacing in effort. The first thing that I noticed when I looked at this photo is his wrists. You can actually tell that his wrists have curled. They've actually curled the barbell first and then he performs the bicep curl. And this is what he states in some of his writings and his books that the toughest part of the Scott curl is at the bottom, at the very bottom and very few people go all the way down the bottom when performing the Scott curl because they know that it, this is the hardest area. And this is the difference between a crappy bicep and a great bicep going all the way down to the bottom and having the forearm strength to curl the wrist uh, first. To, so to use the, the wrist to curl the barbell first. And as I mentioned in his book he actually clearly states go to the complete bottom of the exercise. Um, now doing this actually uh, forces growth it forces the, the bicep to grow especially at the elbow which is where a lot of people have a gap and so he he's very adamant about going all the way down to the bottom of the preacher bench bench and he he just says that this is where the great growth really lies um, for, for biceps um, and so if you can't wrist curl the bar down so if you can't risk curl the barbell or dumbbells in this case at the very bottom then you cannot curl the barbell up and it makes sense you go all the way down next time when you're on a preacher curl and see if you can wrist curl it first and then it'll it'll go up if you can't do that then you can't perform it properly uh, therefore he suggests that wrists and forearm strength is absolutely uh, it, it's it's absolutely super important now another thing he mentions is that when you're performing the Scott curl, it's very important for the face of the Scott uh, of the Scott bench or the preacher bench to be convex. If it has a flat face, then this is a bad preacher uh, or Scott bench, as, as you'd call it. So what are his final suggestions? Well, he recommends uh, for huge bicep development. Firstly, work on increasing weights in wrist curls and two to work the forearms with equal or even greater intensity than the upper arms and I'll give you an example from his book Loaded Guns he actually mentions in the book that whenever he wanted to increase his arm size his upper arm size that is both triceps and biceps he would increase his forearm strength in the wrist curl first and he could actually perform uh, wrist curls with 250 pounds and he actually learned this technique of Bill Pearl so these are Larry Scott's suggestions for huge bicep development if you've liked the video please uh, give it a like subscribe uh, thanks for sh uh, thanks for watching and please share this is the golden era bookworm see you next time